Financial markets, intermediaries, there's somebody in the middle there between maybe a borrower and a lender, and somehow the money goes through these intermediaries. This is a simple system where uh, maybe the borrower pays to the bank and the bank pays back the depositors or the investor, uh, and obviously they make some money. Well, what we have today is a much, 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 much more complicated system that has lots and lots of intermediaries in between a lot of layering and somehow somebody wanted to create that institution outside the other institution and somehow they all managed to live in this environment or they had enough incentives to create this. This picture comes from uh, Iceland, uh, from their commission on uh, what happened in their crisis and this is 300,000 people, only the big businesses and how they're interconnected through ownership. So these are various uh, cross-holding pyramid structures, and this is not debt. What we have in the other system, uh, in, the, in the bigger global system, is a, a house of cards made of lots and lots and lots of pieces uh, of institutions with lots of interconnection through uh, of various debts and uh, derivatives and lots and lots of connections that spread across the world. As a result of that, what you can have is, uh, if the system is very fragile, it can collapse easily. So a small adjustment in prices uh, of housing in the U.S., combined, with, of course, with a lot of uh, very risky borrower lending, uh, created a global financial crisis, as we saw in 2008. So five years ago, this system really imploded, uh, and a lot of people got harmed from this. There is a recession that we're still recovering from uh, throughout the world, and some of the tremors coming from one country really spill over to the others, even if Fed policy, the whole world, is looking at that. After a crisis like that, the stories come and the narratives come. So you start reading them and there you would think, oh, it was just a plumbing problem. It was just a, this complicated system with all these pipes. It's just, you know, the, the, something went wrong with those pipes and we just got to, you know, flush it with water and it was just a liquidity problem, a liquidity problem. Or the image uh, is, is brought up. It was just, just stuff happens sometimes that you can't prevent these things. It's just like earthquakes. This is natural disasters that just open and, and that justifies doing absolutely everything to save the system, which you'd think if there's an earthquake, we want the government to step in and, and provide the safety nets and send the ambulances. But what if the story's a little bit different? Yes, maybe there was a little bit of a tremor, but maybe this house was shoddy. Maybe this house was not well constructed. Maybe it really collapsed from the slightest of earthquakes while the other houses next nearby survived. There are good bridges and there are sh sh shoddy bridges. In airplane crashes, you also have something like that. If an airplane was to crash, people do die. Um, then there, there are lots of questions about why this happened. Was it flying too low? Was there just uh, some bird that came? Uh, did, the, did the pilot fall asleep? However, there are only so many stories you can tell about an airplane crash. There is a black box, which is actually orange, a flight recorded, a flight recorder, and, uh, and the flight recorder is going to uh, quite uh, constrain the kind of stories people tell you about what happened. And so, uh, so, so and, and people care about that. Now, in banking, uh, in fact, the banking emperors are naked, if you look more closely, and that's what I did. Um, they say lots of things that uh, are convenient narratives for them. They'll start it from when it just happened and how we saved you. They don't start it with how we failed to protect you before that. Um, they'll tell you all kinds of other stories. Instead, actually, what's going on is a lot of actions of the people in this system uh, are polluting uh, the system. They are harmful uh, actions that actually create more fragility in the system for their own good of the individuals there. So in fact, it's a system that's uh, got in it a certain addictive um, 
behaviors, like uh, boring too much and taking too much risk, uh, that ends up benefiting the people who make those decisions and uh, harm lots of other people. So this is about secondhand smoking. And of course, the industry, like the tobacco industry at the time, denied this. What we need for this kind of system is good refereeing, good rules, and good regulations. And what you have here is uh, one side of this game lobbying with the uh, rule makers uh, of this uh, uh, to, uh, to prevent being kicked out of the game here. Uh, and so what we have the challenge is how can the other side, which is the public, get the policymakers, the referees, to protect us from this industry? That's the challenge, the big political challenge.